When you're lying in bed at night, do you ever randomly remember some relatively minor social missteps or poorly chosen words you did said years earlier? And then beat yourself up over it even though it really wasn't a big deal? If so, what happened? Not really something I said but when I was in second grade I wasn't feeling well. The teacher was talking and I was taught to wait until someone is done speaking to talk. So I waited and finally I had a chance. I walked up to her desk to ask if I could go to the bathroom and threw up all over her desk. The next day at school she told everyone if we felt sick to just go to the bathroom. Don't ask just go. It's stuck with me ever since Lomeo. I had a teacher in middle school whose policy was if you're sick. Go to the bathroom as well. She pukes if she sees or smells puke. One time a girl came up to ask permission to leave but then puked all over her. The teacher then proceeded to puke all over the student. I wish I was a fly on the wall for that interaction. I was running late and miraculously found a parking space directly in front of the building. I didn't have change for the meter. So I pled with a guy running a hot dog stand to break a $5 for me. He refused. I got mad and when I rushed back to my car I stepped half off the curb and rolled into the street. He and several customers started laughing loudly. I responded. Sitting in the street. You think that's fuck? Double quote. At that point they were just dying. As was I. I was having a lunch date with an old friend from school and her toddler. I was showing the kid something on my phone and he grabbed it. For some reason I said. In a jokey voice. You better not drop that or I'll stab you. As soon as the words left my mouth I was like. What the actual fck have I just said? I looked at my friend in absolute panic. She just looked at me like I was an idiot. To this day I have absolutely no idea why I threatened to stab a baby. Even if it was just a daft joke. I think about it periodically and cringe so hard. It's a wonder my friend still talks to me. Edit thanks for the awards. Kind strangers. I'm glad my anguish brings you all such joy. Hope you all get stabbed. Accidentally pat my legs and told my friend to come to me. I hadn't seen them in a while and was only playing with my dog before they came over. Still think about it a lot even though it was at least 2 or 3 years ago. Edit. Wording. OMG this reminded me of multiple incidents like this like winking at my friend and he thought I was flirting when it's actually just something that happened while I was staring at the void for long and I just happened to look at him lol. It was extremely stupid. I was a kid back then at the airport and I was scheduled to go visit my family. My dad brought me to a restaurant before my flight. While I was there. I saw these Chinese chopsticks that looked really cool. But I was sure my dad wouldn't buy me them. So for the first time I've got mischievous and tried to steal them. As I was doing so. I turn around and see that everyone happened to be staring at me. My dad. The cashier and the cook. Realizing what had happened and me realizing they realized made me cry instantly. I vividly remember my dad telling the cook and cashier that I am usually not like this which made it even worse. Afterwards I found out the chopsticks were free anyway. Accidentally ran wheelchair bound friend into wall. Still cringe about it 7 years later. OMG. I work in a pool with people with physical disabilities. The first time I had to get a client in a wheelchair out of the pool by myself. It was a client who had incredibly sensitive feet and would scream and cry if they even brushed the ground. Of course the pool was full of people who had done this a thousand times and knew I was new. They were all watching me and of course her feet hit the floor and she screamed and cried. The other contractors had to get in and help me and then explain to me that I can't let her feet touch the ground. Totally mortifying. Yes. I still beat myself up over saying can I give you a hand to a pizza delivery guy who was trying to juggle a pizza and open a door. He only had one arm. Our local pizza shop had this old guy making pizzas and he had a mini hand. Sometimes when ordering a pizza he would ask if I wanted olives and I'd say yeah just chuck on a handful. We never mentioned it but we both knew what I was thinking. A proper handful. Not that f king mini hand. If by lying in bed you mean routinely throughout the day then yes definitely. I call it a John set Tourette's. I'll be walking down the sidewalk. Minding my own business. 
and I will randomly remember my first day of high school when a senior girl pulled my pants down in the middle of the lunchroom in front of the entire school. And I'll physically react to the memory as though it is happening right now. Even though that was over 30 years ago. I don't go out much. It's normal. Yeah. Changing the way you look at it might be helpful, consider it this way. It's proof of personal growth. If you hadn't learned anything. If you hadn't matured. You would not be embarrassed by the memory. Being embarrassed about it means you're wiser now. And that's something to acknowledge and celebrate. Sigh. My first boyfriend. 6th grade. I was not pretty yet. A little chunky blonde girl who had not found herself and just wanted to be accepted. I had very little friends. Two best friends, my only friends, and a group I hung out with awkwardly. A boy with blue eyes asked to go out with me. I was ecstatic. Said yes and would sometimes walk me home after school. Wasn't too far. But would never hold my hand which I thought was weird but told myself who cares this boy actually wants to be with me. Well two weeks later breaks up with me during class in a note. So I got up. Threw it in the trash thinking I was doing some type of harm to him. While walking back to my desk they were saying things like you earned your money and bet you won't do it again so knowing it was a dare I went to their desks and said thanks assholes. Yes you read that right. I don't have a lisp. I replaced those very important s's with a th. Walking away they all laughed and I had never felt more humiliated. Luckily I know how immature we all were and doesn't affect me today but dang it still makes me cringe thinking about it. In 4th grade first week of school I was peeing and a dude went to the urinal next to me and said hey what's up going Gregu at work. I was like a hey. Do I know you? I thought he was just picking on me because I was an easy target for bullies. The dude was like you yeah, man. I'm so and so. How was your summer? Double quote. It turns out my friend hit a major growth spur over the summer and I didn't even recognize him. A little bromance moment and I was too dumb to realize it. I used to do this with really dumb shtee that didn't matter at all. Like a class presentation that didn't go well in primary school. The key to getting over it is to stop the thoughts in their tracks as soon as you notice them. Our brains are a bit weird. And the more you think about something the more likely you are to think of it again. The good news is this means you can train your brain to think of it less. You can either challenge the thoughts directly or just distract yourself. If I ever had a night where I couldn't stop the thoughts I would put on a TV show I'd seen a million times before and listen to it with my eyes closed until I fell asleep. It's distracting enough to keep me from thinking but not so distracting that it keeps me awake. When I was around 11 years old I was at a friend's house and their neighbor's dog ran away. I followed the dog to a rocky shore and I was calmly trying to grab its collar to bring it back home. Then in a split second the owner finds us and straddles me and I accidentally step on the dog's paw and it screamed. The owner thought I had taken the dog out to the shore and that I hurt it on purpose. That shtee still makes my heart hurt. All the time. I usually just think about how poorly I must have been perceived for it and all of the better ways that I could have chosen to do it say it. One time I was out shopping and as I was going down an aisle, I saw an older lady struggle to lift something off of a shelf. As I was getting closer I was slowing down trying to decide if it was appropriate to offer some help. I instead didn't say anything. As she ended up lifting it up before I could. And she noticed me staring at her. I felt terrible about it all day and wondered why I didn't just offer some help immediately. I cringe every time I remember this. And I can't even say I was young and stupid. Well I guess I can say yes. I was stupid. My husband and I stopped at his brother's house late one night after coming home from the state fair. When we walked into the house. We saw that it was a mess. Like clothes were all over the couch. There was food and plates on the table. It was kind of dirty. My sister-in-law said you should have stopped by earlier in the day. I said why? Was your house cleaner then? She said no we built a porch out back. Hence the reason the house was a mess. I'm not a good person. Open bracket. In first grade. My teacher asked me if I would mind taking something to the teacher in the next room. I said I would mind. 
What I didn't say was I minded because I was painfully shy. She was upset with me and made me put my hair down on my desk. To this day I lay awake wondering how 6 year old me could have worded it where she would have understood I was too anxious to go. MRS. Ridges. If you're out there. I didn't mean to be rude. Once I was on a school trip with a few girls I didn't know very well. Two were talking aside. Then one came over and asked us if we think she's fat. Being an idiot without a filter. I said sth along the lines of not that much, she was a little chubby. She started crying and no one wanted to talk to me anymore. Served me right. I still regret running my mouth like that. When I was in middle school I had a crush on my best friend's brother. He said something like putting crushed up potato chips on his hot dog was good. Everyone else disagreed but I said oh I've had that and it's delightful. But everyone also knew that I hate hot dogs and don't really love chips so my BFF kind of just stared at me. It's more a minor thing but even 18 years later I still think about how much of a silly girl thing it was to agree with him just so he would think I might be cool. I have a habit of stepping forward and leaning closer to people when I can't understand what they're saying. It was my first year learning ASL. It was a parent teacher conference. The teacher was deaf. I was having trouble understanding what she was signing. So instinctively moved towards her. In retrospect it must have seemed aggressive for some reason. And I immediately regretted it. Nobody acknowledged it. But I don't think I've ever felt a stronger desire to hurl myself into the sea. Edit. Couple typos. Username checks out. This question has been posted word for word more times than I can count. I remember having a hoo crush on some guy in high school. I was really annoying though and he did not want to talk to me. He'd kinda tolerate me. Bare minimum. I'd loudly tell jokes and draw dumb shti on the whiteboard, cause I was the dumbest class clown type in high school. Comma I was certain that the best way to a guy's heart was acting like a massively obnoxious fool. I would sometimes make excuses to be in the same room, i.e. showing up to one of his classes with a note for the teacher or whatever. Comma it was terrible. Even as I was doing it I could feel the tremendous amount of creeping cringe. A few years later I was lying in bed at night and realized. Holy shit. I think Gary was gay. Sometimes even now I wake up in paralyzing fear of the person I was at 16. It's gotten even worse now that I've realized I'm also gay so I really don't know what the FCK was going on there. One of my worst fuck ups. My mom had some elderly friends over, they were around 80. I think. Who were staying in the guest bedroom. They're super nice. So I decided I would help them bring their stuff upstairs. As the woman was halfway up the stairs. Struggling with an armful of clothes. I offered to take them from her. As she was passing me the clothes. She lost her balance and fell down the fking stairs backwards. She was fine. She's a very tough chick. But at first it was like I was watching her fall in slow motion. I apologized a million times. And she was cool about it. But I still regret trying to help. In third grade my art teacher asked if anyone had the Nutcracker movie that they could bring for the class to watch. I volunteered. The next day as she was putting in the VHS tape she said to the class. This is Barbie and the Nutcracker. I wish Mariah would have told me that but I guess we'll watch it anyways and shy third grade me was so embarrassed. I turned bright red and felt horrible even though it was a simple mistake. I was a young. Punk. Self-centered kid. We played football in the neighborhood. We had another child with braces on his legs but he played with us. I started running my stupid mouth about not wanting him on my team. He was standing behind me. He never said a word. I don't remember but I don't think I played that day. That was 50 plus years ago and I still hate myself for it. I used to work at a family restaurant as a server and towards the end of the night I was really tired and was trying to mix up my greetings so every table I had didn't hear the same one. While I was walking up to a recently seated family of four I was going back and forth in my head between what's up and howdy folks. When I got to the table what came out was howdy fucks. The complete silence after is mainly what my shame marinates me in late at night. 
was at my cousin's wedding. And my very Christian uncle happened to be sitting in my assigned seat. And I'd moved a few seats away. Desserts got passed out and... In my drunken state. Thought I was funny by snatching the dessert that was put in front of him. Claiming it was mine. Knocked over an almost full beer while I reached for it. He just said I'm going over here now. And left the table. That pops into my head every now and then. And I cringe every time. Yeah. So this was like 5 years ago at the Australian Open watching a game on a stinking hot summer's day. The seats are all full and I'm standing at the side waiting for a seat to free up. Wonders and lucky for me the lady next to the empty seat waves me over. Or so I thought. Turns out she was waving to her friend standing behind me. Unfortunately I didn't realize this until play had started and with tennis you have to wait for the next break in play before leaving your seat. So I had to sit there for a good 5 minutes having to put up with this lady berating me and she just wouldn't believe that it was an honest mistake. To this day I still get frustrated thinking about that stupid woman in that situation. I was at a church camp and I was telling someone about a TikTok I saw. To reference this TikTok. I loudly exclaimed oh I. You got a fucking ziggy. Cunt. In my best Australian accent. I turned around and it seemed the vicar and the young lad next to him did not appreciate my Australian accent. I still have nightmares to this day. When I was in high school I went to my boyfriend's house and was used to saying hello to his grandma with a hug. There was another older man next to her when I said hello so I also went up and gave him a hug. My boyfriend asked me why I hugged that guy and then proceeded to tell me he was just the contractor they hired to paint their basement Narcerosa. This happens too often to pinpoint a specific instance. However. I've found that reminding myself that no one remembers or thinks about this but me has been particularly helpful in assuaging anxiety and self cringe. Someone said thanks to me for a small thing. I can't remember what but something like holding a door open. I decided to say your problem in response, a mix between your welcome and no problem. Then in an attempt to correct myself I said no welcome. <laughs>